Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So I officially have the craziest two little girls in the world. It is mid-April and what, it's like 72 degrees outside and it's about 70 degrees in the pool. And 71! Oh, 71! <laughs> it's 71 degrees in the pool and they are trying to convince me that it's pool swimming weather. Nope. <laughs> I will not be getting in the pool today. So while I'm out here watching them in the pool, I figure I will kind of get my veggie garden up and going. Um, I They said that they would plant <laughs> some of the bush beans, uh, the dragon's tongue bush bean and a couple of the tomatoes that we seeded a couple weeks ago. They're ready to get out into the garden, um, but they might be a little busy in the pool. You guys are crazy. Are you freezing? It's warm. <laughs> okay. So what I want to do first is I, you're getting used to it. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> what I want to do first is I want to get all these weeds. I got a lot of weeds in here. Um, I did have a bird feeder up here and I ended up moving it over to the other side of the yard because they were eating all my lettuce and then they were, you know, dropping the seeds and I'm, I have a ton of weeds now, um, you know, from the sunflower seeds and whatever else is in that bird seed mix. So I just need to weed everything and then I'll get everything transplanted. And then I also need to train my purple hyacinth bean. I need to put up my twine for that and then train my cucumbers. So I want to get that all done today and I figure I'll do it while these crazy girls are swimming. Okay, I am all done with weeding. It really wasn't that hard. It was pretty easy to pull just because the soil's pretty loose um, and I didn't let it grow in that much. The hardest thing is at the edge of, you know, like right underneath my wattle fence, I have a lot of those weed, those, I think they're called oxalis weeds. They are hard to pull. And honestly, they have been all over my garden this year. They, I must have not done a good job last year of taking them out because they're, they're just all over. They're like the main ones that I'm dealing with this year. So I've got that all taken care of. And now what I want to do is I want to go get my twine um, that I purchased from the garden center when we went to the Bay Area last week. Um, and I want to start uh, training my purple hyacinth bean and then I also have muncher cucumbers that I want to drain. Okay, so last year I had my purple hyacinth bean that I absolutely love. It's so pretty and this is one that I'm starting right now and you can see how tall it's gotten already. Can you see that? Okay, and so what I do is I had have, I have these nails from last year and I'm just, last year I had this wire that was just whatever. So I'm just gonna do twine and I just kind of wrap it around here. And then when I'm done with the purple hyacinth bean because it's an annual, I just cut it off and I just, you know, yank everything out and throw it away. It is actually a big job <laughs> to take this giant plant out, um, but it's really easy, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then the other thing I wanna do right next to it, I have two muncher cucumbers and they actually are doing really well. Um, and so I'm gonna start training those up twine as well. I'm going to hang the twine. Um, I'm going to wrap it around here and then let me move slowly so I don't make you guys dizzy. I'm going to wrap it up, up, up all the way at the top of our pergola. I'm going to connect it right there um, and then uh, bring it down to, to the cucumbers. Let me show you guys from a different angle. Okay, this is better. So I'm going to tie the twine from there and then I'm just going to string it down so the cucumbers can just start climbing up the twine. So we'll have two of them right there and then the purple hyacinth bean is going to climb up this post and then I'll show you guys I have a volunteer purple hyacinth bean that I found when I was weeding right there. So I mean, come on, I just got to leave it and let it climb up right there. Why not? <laughs> It's meant to be. Oh, and the girls are out of the pool already. It was a whopping five minute swim that they had. 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minute swim. It was five. <laughs> 
Okay, so right here is my volunteer purple hyacinth bean. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. One, because I didn't grow any other peas last year, and this just definitely looks like a bean or a pea. And then two, it has that purpley veining and the purple stems like the purple hyacinth bean has. So it's just absolutely perfect. This cord is the cord that we use for our patio lights, and then we just plug it in over, over there. Um, so it just kind of lays here. I wish I wish I had a better place to put it, but eh, it is what it is. So yeah, so I will leave this guy here. Okay, Shay wants to talk us through some of the veggies that we're going to be planting in our gardens. And we started these from seed, right? A couple weeks a ago. A couple weeks ago. That's right. Six weeks ago, you think? Probably. Okay, I think that's probably right. Yeah. Six or ten. Six or ten weeks. <laughs> How about I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll put it on the screen. Okay? okay? All right. Tell me about what do we have first? So first we have Good Hearted. They are a small size and they... Um, are shaped like hearts. What are they? Good hearted. Good hearted what? Tomato. Oh, good hearted <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> so they're a compact variety and they are, are red snacking tomatoes shaped like hearts. All right. And then what's the next one we have? Garden gem. Okay. They're going to grow like medium size. Okay. And they're good for snacking. Good for tomatoes. snack. Good. Good for snacking. Ooh got a little wind here. All right, what's the third one we have? It's boiny. It's boiny tomatoes. It's yellow and it's going to grow probably taller than Sadie. For sure. Definitely. Right? Maybe That's it. Maybe at the size two. Maybe. Maybe yeah, by the end of the six. season. I think it's going to probably get like six feet. So basically it will, it's indeterminate. So it'll keep growing as long as it's warm. Yeah, so as long as it's warm, it'll just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So maybe we can make it into a tomato tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Um, next we have dragon's tongue bush bean. Dragon's tongue bush bean. And then what else? Pesto besto. Pesto besto, yummy basil. I'm so excited to eat that with the tomatoes. <sighs> We're going to get you to eat tomatoes this year, Shay. <laughs> We are. <laughs> we'll get you to eat tomatoes. And then the last one's not a proven winner's. I just put it in a proven winner's can. Parsley. Parsley. That's right. Uh, That's right. Okay. So, do you guys want to decide where we're going to put everything? Yes. All right. <laughs> Okay, hey, Sadie, you want to show me what we did? We threw the twine over on the top of the pergola, and then we 
took the bottom and gently tied it to each of the plants. Each of the cucumber plants yeah. and then started training the cucumber plants around the twine, right? Uh -huh. So I think that as they grow up the twine, it's kind of hard to see. As they grow up the twine, it's going to save a lot of room because the vining plant will actually vine up the twine. I've never done this before, but I've seen videos on it. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. All right, everyone. So I think we're about done. We've got our three proven winners tomatoes in. We've got the Garden Gem, the Good Hearted, and the Bellini. So I'm excited to try those. Uh, we've got our Pesto Besto Basil. Um, last year I tried the other basil that Proven Winners had, which I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, Maisel Basil, that's it. And it did fantastic. So I'm excited to try out this new variety. We have a just a generic parsley, and then also the Dragon's Tongue Bush Bean is the other one that we installed today. Um, so that, along with the other varieties that we have in this kitchen garden, I think it's coming together, and I think that we're gonna have a lot to harvest, harvest from as the season goes on. Um, so I'm glad that my girls got to help me out, and Shay, you're doing a wonderful job filming right now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.